What's up my beautiful people? Welcome back to my channel. It's Lizzie Atkins here as always and I'm back with another bang. Today I'll be showing you guys how to tie the bow gilly. So here I've got my purple gilly and I've divided it into two sections and I divided it into 60 40 so one side was longer than the other as you can see towards the end over here and once I've done that I grab my gilly and I start to create my pleats so I place it on my model's head and I create the pleats on her head. You can always create the pleats outside of the head. So you can do it then place it on. Create the pleats and I shifted it towards the side. So the shorter side to the side I wanted it to. And then I move it all the way back. Requesting my model to hold it on one side. So I've asked my model in, in your case. You might ask your client to hold it on the side. Whilst I do the other side. I've gone and I'm doing the other side now, just following the pleats that I've got from the other side and making sure it all matches all the way round. So once I've done that, I'm just making sure it's all neat and I pull back my, so I put all the, all of it together to create that scrunch in the middle and I do the same thing for the other one. And I'll ask my model to hold on both sides because now we're about to knot it. So we're about to tie it. Gathering all of the extra gillies, I put it over and I knot it now. So I'm tying it and just watch carefully how I tie it because I tie it and then I try and shift it to make sure it's in the middle. So I tied it and you can see I'm shifting both hands to make sure I'm getting in the middle. Remember you can always do your bow on the side, left side or the right side. But at this point in this video, I was trying to achieve my bow in the middle so make sure my pleats are all in place and make sure the gilly is secured it's tight enough not too tight but making sure everything is in place because you don't want your gilly falling off or you don't want your client's gilly falling off at the party whilst they're having fun so once that is done as you see i'm just trying to make sure it's all secure and i just pull that down and I leave I make sure because I'm trying to get the clear part of the knot the bits with the thread so just making sure all of that so now I bring the one behind and I fold in one of the side and fold in the other side at this point I fold it in and I start to roll them together in way of like an envelope sort of thing so I fold them both sides just to make sure my edges are neat. This is to make sure the edges are neat. If you want a smaller bow, you can fold it in even more. If you want a bigger one, you can fold it out more. So I fold it all in. And I, once I'm there, and then I just fold it all in place. Just to make sure my bow is giving that effect. Just make sure everything's placed, then I fold it all like that. So, so I pleat them over each other and then I bring myself. Then I do the same thing for the one in front. So I get the one in front and then I swoop it over. And without even pinning it, you can already see the bow effect, but you definitely want your gilly to be on point so this is just me adjusting it and putting things in place and making sure they're in the right place and i'm getting it bang on in the middle so i go around to the back 
if you can see I go around to the back and I do the same thing that I've done but this time folding it on to the inside of the galley instead of the outside like I did with the front so I tuck it all in just the extra galleys I tuck it all the extra material I tuck it all in and I fold it as well as you can see roll 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 just making sure the edges are all neat and I grab my pin to secure it on both sides And once that is done, I come back around to the front and I just start to make my bow into what I want it to be puffy, a little bit of puff at the end. And with the scrunch, with the scrunch, that little plate mm -hmm. on the side. So I try that, you know, put them together and I get another pin as well to hold it on the end. So on each end, I get a pin to hold it. So I do it for that side and I repeat the same step on the other side, the same exact step on the other side as well. So that is done now and I'm just using my hand to make sure they're secured, they're in place. I'm just playing around with it just to give it that shape that I want, the desired shape that I want. So you can always play around with your ghillie and just give it that. You see I'm, I squashed it up to give it that puffness because I don't want my ghillie looking flat. But that's it guys, I do hope you enjoyed today's video i do hope you think this game is nice do not forget to subscribe